by the retail sector to discuss this we are joined by country's biggest banker dinesh kumar khara chairman at state bank of india is now joining us uh, mr khara good morning thanks a lot for joining us uh, uh, so you tell us uh, first uh, what's happening at the kind of loan growth that we are seeing uh, and so much coming from the retail sector uh, uh, is this sustainable and uh, does this come with profitable growth uh good morning and thank you for having me on your channel well of course when it comes to the kind of a loan growth which you are seeing and more so in the retail sector uh, to my mind it is quite such a sector which was whatever was there it is now getting met through the availment of loans and uh, we are seeing it uniformly across mortgages across unsecured personal loans across pension loans and uh, auto loans so i think practically all the sub segments in the retail segment are doing well and we have a very clear visibility of the demand which is there and hopefully going forward you know as the busy season kicks in and uh, of course already the festival season has got kicked uh, has got kicked in so i am quite confident that uh, we will continue to have a decent retail growth even in the first quarter also we grew almost about 18% though on a cover basis we were growing at about 16% uh, for about last four years in the retail segment but i think we will continue to see a decent growth in the retail and growth in retail uh, mr khara that's of course being the key driver but what about the corporate uh, credit uh, capex driven corporate loan uh, uh, do you think that's also showing signs of uh, you know sort of uh, uh, coming back uh, your view here yeah in fact in the in the corporate segment also we had seen a growth of about uh, 10% as at the end of the last quarter and we continue to see a similar trend even in the current quarter as well uh, when it comes to corporate essentially uh, what i would say is that essentially party on account of the uh, much better capacity utilization which is now at about 75.3 75 so around that the capacity utilization is so it has led to an improvement in availability of the working capital and even there is a visibility of the project loans also and we have got a decent book of about almost about 1.5 to 1.75 trillion which is under process as far as the project loans are concerned and the interesting part is that uh, a very large proportion of this book is uh, i mean uh, these proposals are from the private sector about 70 to 75% are the proposals from the coming from the private sector so i think uh, i hope that uh, this will continue like this and uh, uh, hopefully we'll have a decent time going forward so um, mr khara good morning you said that your retail sector growth has been on a compounded basis about 16% over the last 4 years i'm assuming you can do better than that over the next 2 to 3 years given the how demand has come back and corporate sector loan growth was 10% you said in the quarter gone by so overall what could the sustainable loan growth be for sbi um on a compounded basis over the next 1 to 2 years uh at least for the current year i can say with some bit of a certainty the way things are i'm hoping that uh, we should be in a position to record at least 15% growth in the loan book and in the current year and uh, uh that's what okay mm-hmm. all right uh, uh mr khara if you could also give us a couple of uh, uh, more numbers 15% loan growth what is your nims likely to be and your broad uh, range of your credit cost uh as far as the credit cost is concerned my guidance has always been that we'll be keeping it less than 100 basis point do we have achieved uh, 61 basis point as at the end of the last quarter hopefully we should be somewhere in that range only but uh, the broad number which i'll keep for myself would be that it would be less than 100 basis point that is for sure yes. and as far as names are concerned i'm hoping that we should be somewhere around 3.15 3.20 those kind of names because at, in, in the names there are attempts some one offs but i think uh, if we if we normalize those one offs uh, we should be in a position to keep the names around one uh, around 3.15 okay uh, mr khara your uh, stocks at uh, record high any any kind of fundraising plans that you have uh we have recently completed our 81 issuance we have raised more than 6800 crores 
and that uh, uh, possibly the best of the price. So I think uh, that's what it is. And apart from that, we'll be raising some tier two also very soon. So as of now, this is where we stand. Uh, Mr. Khara, there's uh, uh, a question that's uh, come from my from my analyst uh, asking that you know there's reports that you will be redesigning savings and salary accounts to garner more deposits. Uh, uh, is that true? And if you could explain that. Yeah, we are, uh, as far as the savings and the corporate salary packages accounts are concerned, that is one of our major focus for our savings accounts. And it will continue to be the, the focus going forward. And even now, we are also trying to, uh, in fact, having a focus on the current account from the traders and the vendor segment also. We are offering cash management products. Uh, so I think we are offering multiple value-add services to our account holders. So that will continue to be the focus for us going forward. Uh, sir, I want to come back to that point you were making about corporate capex and how things are picking up. The government has actually done a lot, right? Many initiatives to boost capex, whether it is the PLI scheme for the manufacturing sector, expansion of public infrastructure spending, or even opening up of new sectors for private businesses. Uh, from a banker's perspective, I want to understand how much has the infrastructure loan growth picked up now compared to, say, what it was earlier? And are you seeing incremental loans from that side? No, of course, infrastructure sector has continued to be the mainstay uh, for the last couple of years because when it comes to road sector, road sector was one of the major, major sectors where a uh, lot of uh, lending has been done. But they have, they have been all into the ham, majorly into the ham. Mm. And apart from that, now we are seeing good traction in the renewable energy. That is something which is, and the EV space also. Mm. There is a good lending which is uh, which is there. Uh, and I would say that apart from all this, uh, I think uh, road, airport, and port, uh, that continues to be the focus for the infrastructure. Uh, I think these are some of the major sectors where we are seeing some decent growth. Apart from that, even NBFC space also, there is a uh, good growth, so right. which is uh, uh, which is seen. Mr. Mr. Khara, now in terms of resolutions, the pace is slow, right? Uh, uh, the lot of stress in NCLT cases uh, still remain uh, unresolved. Uh, how many cases do you expect resolutions, uh, say in FI23? Uh, well, uh, our ex uh, estimation is that uh, in the current year, we should be in a position to resolve at least about 100 odd cases through resolution, uh, through the NCLT process, and uh, almost about 80 odd cases through liquidation process, in the which are also the cases referred through the NCLT. So that's what my broad assessment is. Uh, Mr. Khara, you know, we recently had a guest editor who's one of uh, India's best known fund managers. He was making a point uh, that the worst of asset quality issues will is behind us. Uh, and he's making a point for the entire banking sector that, uh, you know, if you look at the top 100, 200 corporates, uh, most of the stress is now over and we will never perhaps revisit that bogey of, you know, uh, uh, the large scale, uh, the kind of NPS that we saw in the last decade. Uh, would that be a fair assessment? I tend to believe this because uh, there are a couple of reasons. One, of course, the leverage on the corporate book has come down quite a lot. That is one major reason. Secondly, uh, corporates have also started uh, reaching out to the uh, market instruments. That's the reason. And thirdly, of course, there is a possible uh, borrowing on as far as the behavior part is concerned. And, uh, you know, in the past, uh, it was uh, losing a control of an enterprise was more of a fiction. But post-NCLT, it has become a reality. So I think that is something which has really changed the way people look at raising loans from the banking system is concerned. So they are very mindful in terms of uh, how much to raise and when to raise. And also they are quite mindful in terms of adhering to the discipline prescribed by the lenders. So I think these are some of the positive developments which have happened, which actually supports my thinking as well, that perhaps the 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 kind of, uh, you know, the, the stress which had seen into the corporate balance sheet in the past, I think it, it should be more of a history as I also look at the situation. Okay, on that optimistic note, uh, Mr. Khara, thanks a lot for, for giving your time to us. Always 
appreciate uh, your views and your time. Thanks a lot for joining us.